another one of these. So today's session was 12K in total and a tempo run. So six, 30 seconds on uh, with good form and then 30 seconds easy. So one minute set and to do it six times. Tempo run, two minutes at 80% maximum heart rate. Two minutes easy for a total of six sets. So 24 minutes all up. 30 minutes out of my uh, entire run was tempo running. So it was really cold this morning, so the heart rate was slow. And then once you start doing those tempo runs, you obviously build up. So great morning, glad it's over, and now for a shower. So I just completed an hour on the wind trainer. Um, the session was called Safarama. So a lot of tempo riding, so blocks of five minutes, four minutes, three minutes, and then broken up by some really fast 100%, 110% efforts sprinting. So um, 30 seconds in one gear, then um, 20 seconds in a harder gear, with a 40 second break and then repeat five times. So a whole lot of that, mixing it right up. So it really got your heart rate uh, elevated. Um, glad it was only an hour. with Louie. So, brick session today, 80k on the bike, then 16k run. So, I did the bike in two hours 50, felt good. And now, transition to the run. So, I laid out all my stuff from the other day. Okay. And it's actually the first time I've used my tri suit. So, it's obviously, it's a lot different to, um, it's a lot thinner pad. So, I just wanted to see how it's going to feel. I'm going to run with that. Get that off. Get that up. Socks on. It actually does take a bit of time. It's warm, so gonna put on some sunscreen. Put someone on the bike before. So with the session, um, I took, try to drink as much as I could, try to take it a little bit easier on the bike, knowing that I was gonna run 16K off it. So I've done 80K now, it took me two hours 50. Um, Megan had made some Carbo loading, little protein things that I had on the ride, ride. So I made sure I had lots of those, had uh, plenty of water, and yeah, not feeling too bad. The, the sun's, it's a little bit cloudy, but it, there's a little bit of heat around. So probably took a little bit too long in the transition, but that's what you do and that's what you learn. So yep, 16K now. See you later. Bye. See you, babe. Oh. Hi, guys. Um, just finished my brick session ahead. Uh, Finished the 80k bike ride, felt good, um, went off and 16k run, absolutely terrible. It was so hard. This is the longest brick session I've ever done. Um, at the start, running five, 505 minute k's and just thinking, oh, I should slow this down, but it just felt really comfortable. And then um, 8k mark, which was the turnaround point, it was, um, I just had to stop while I refueled anyway, but made it to there. Got swooped by a magpie, which um, obviously sent the heart rate through the roof, so I had to run around with my hat. 
And then, um, yeah, just, I think a couple of things, I was going, geez, how am I actually going to get back? And um, I've still potentially in a race, got to do another 5K, another 10K on the bike, and then also swim. So I think this is really good to see where your mental <coughs> headspace is. And as I said, I never stop but I stopped I think three or four times, I was just shattered. So really got to work on that mental strength a bit more and obviously um, got to build up a bit more endurance and it just shows the, the training that you're doing, those long sets at the slow pace, that's what you've got to be doing um, to, to get through the day. So um, yeah, absolutely brutal. I am shattered. So I walked, um, I never walk, my feet were killing everything um, I am wrapped that I did it I'm excited about that and I'm gonna really think about this one and um, talk to my coach about it to see where we um, go to from here because obviously my race is in eight weeks but yeah just absolutely brutal and I, I was just thinking about the people who have done them and the people who have done full iron mans and just kudos to you guys <laughs> to actually finish those things because um, Obviously, I didn't do the swim today, but it was just so intense um, running and just wanting to finish, well, wanting to stop, give it all up and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, really challenging run, but it's all about rest, recuperation, and get back into it and get better tomorrow. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Hey, everyone, just wrapping up week eight. Um, certainly learned a lot this week as... Um, previously spoken about but um this week uh, another because obviously pools aren't open yet so still doing land-based training at the moment and obviously Louis is very interested in what's going on as as well he isn't our dog he's our daughter's dog um, but he spends a lot of time with us he's a good guy so um, this week uh, three land-based exercises so whether that be weights or some sort of uh, workout online, D uh, did that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining in. Hope you enjoyed that session. 30 minutes, in and out, job done. I hope you got, you know. uh, One solo run, which was a, a tempo run I did. Uh, two brick sessions, uh, one ergo session on its own. So the, the entire week was effectively, I was on the bike for five and a half hours. Um, ran for three hours so that made up the majority of my training as you would have seen had a real my biggest brick session yet with um, the 80k ride and the 16k run off that so really good learning i'd rather i'm glad i learned it now than later in race day just went out too early um should have slowed down i still averaged five minutes 30 but i, I stopped and i walked as i spoke about it was probably the toughest run that i've ever done so next time this saturday i'm going to do i think 90k on the bike and then a 12k run so i've sort of done that before so i just got to go slower and um, that's what you do to practice to ensure that you're right for race day and the other thing was it was good to um i wore my tri suit for the bike ride so obviously it's got a thinner pad so i didn't know how that was going to hold up but that seemed to be um that seemed to uh, go well didn't have too many issues with that probably just noticed it a bit more going over bumps and things like that it was just um a little bit you get the full impact as opposed to a, a standalone bike pads so that was fine it was nice and easy to go into the transition um, and yeah just had sunscreen didn't have things laid out too well so that was a little bit messy but um, overall it was a good experience now when I look back on it um, and so yeah take the learning move on um, I'm going to be doing some swim sessions next week so getting out into the the open water pools are still close where we are and looking forward to um, yeah learning from it and putting out a better performance this week. So the thing to, I think, is key, you're gonna have bad days. You're gonna have good days and bad days, and you're not gonna keep improving every day, but it's what you do, what you learn from that, and then put your best foot forward uh, the next day. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. So looking forward to week seven. Bye. If you've enjoyed the content, 
please like and subscribe. Um, and if you follow the link in the description, you can have access to my training plans. So I would love you to come along for the journey. Cheers.